the two parameters we want to use when we govern is, it, first of all, con is it constitutional, federal and state? And if it's not, we aren't going to deal with it. We're going to veto it, eliminate it, do whatever we can. The second thing we want to do, does it enhance personal liberty? Does it make our people free or, or does it protect their liberty and their freedoms? And, and those will be the two guidelines we look at when we, when we examine legislation and any state or government involvement in anything. Does it make the people freer and does it fit within the framework, the framework of the Constitution? If it doesn't, then we either don't need a Constitution or we need new leadership. <laughs> and that's the bottom line. And so I think too many of the political class have already discarded the Constitution, as you suggested. It, it, it has no real meaning for them. It's just some esoteric thing floating out there in Etherland. We're going to make it real because we, we also know that the framers in, in both the federal government and in Ohio have given us mechanisms for changing it if we find it inadequate. So if you're unhappy with it, then okay, get on your horse and change it. 